Hello again and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We are on the Unreliable. We spoke with uh, Parvati quite a bit in the last episode or the episode before. She has a lot to say. I guess she's like our main companion. At least she is now. Eh, Parvati's pretty cool. I like talking to Parvati. What do we have as far as quests go? Well, of course, we have our main quest here where we're supposed to go to Stellar Bay. We have these side quests. We have a faction quest, which is kind of interesting. That one also takes place on Stellar Bay. And then we've got some companion quests. And speaking of Parvati, she has a quest for us. She wants us to find some sweetheart cakes on Monarch and also purchase a dustback casserole on Stellar Bay. Stellar Bay is on Monarch, so both of these take place in the same place. And then we've got this other one here uh, that Vicar Max had asked us to do for him. Uh, that one also takes place on Monarch. We're supposed to track down some scholar on Monarch. I don't know why uh, our other uh, companions don't have quests for us, like Ellie and Felix. And uh, I can understand why Sam doesn't, because we kind of just met Sam. But um, hmm, she's standing in a different place. Let's see if she has anything to say to us. Something on your mind? Mm, no, not not really. Maybe we need to travel with her more? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh man, look at all those magpics. Look at that. Look at all these magpics. These are great. I was gonna take these. You know, that's my ship, right? What's this? An air freshener? It's lemony fresh. Okay. Alright, I just examined it. I don't get to take it. I don't know what those things are. Uh, another thing to examine. Bag of moldy sweetheart cakes? Rock hard and slightly discolored, these moldy Rizzo's sweetheart cakes are decades beyond their no more refunds after this date date. Okay. Huh. Okay. Another thing to examine. Sparkling is this unit's middle name. A steeper designed to kill germs rather than people. Unlocks the perk clean sweep for Sam. Really? Just looking that looking at that unlocked a perk? Really? Did it? Did it really? I don't think it did. Let's look at his perks. Um, <laughs> jazz hands. Let's see, where's this clean sweep perk? Um, I don't know. Because I, I, I think that these perks are named the same for everybody. Like, I think everybody has Stonebreaker. I mean, it said perk. Right? I mean, it makes you think that... It would... Here's here's clean sleep, sweep right here. Okay, I guess it's just something that he's he's given. I don't know if this was already here or not. Harmful combat effects... Combat? Harmful combat effects on you have much shorter durations. Okay, cool. Thanks, Sam. So yeah, I guess I just need to check in with these guys every once in a while. <laughs> that was cool. Felix and Ellie and see if they ever have anything they Good really want boss. me to do. Nope. See you later. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's decide where to go in this episode. Um, we've got a lot of stuff that's taken us to Stellar Bay. But do I want to go and do that relay thing for uh, the people on Groundbreaker? Seems like that's been kind of hanging out there for a little bit. This one called uh, the Silent Voices, the Groundbreaker's primary communications relay station, is about to be occluded by one of Halcyon's gas giants for the next few months. To avoid being entirely cut off, they need the old backup relay station operational again. Edna Ingmeyer in communications hired you to travel to relay GB-23 GB and bring the station online. Just traveled to that relay. The Groundbreakers backup communications relay went offline a while ago. Now that the station's primary relay is going to be occluded, this backup relay must be prepared. So I, I'm pretty sure that we have all the time in the world to do this. I don't think that at some point the game is going to be like, you didn't fix this. Now Groundbreakers screwed. But I feel like I, I feel like we should go take care of it right away, story-wise, you know, because we were asked to do it. There is a time limit put on it. Uh, and also, I'm really kind of curious to see how this is going to work. Um, for some reason, I'm thinking that this thing is floating in space. 
Is it not? Is it on a planet? I don't know. What does the codex want to tell me? Oh, all kinds of stuff about Sam. Sam Suds is... Oh, this is just logs that we picked up. Okay, never mind. Uh, so, yeah, I'm real curious to see what is up with this relay. So, I want to do that one in this episode. Relay GB23, one of several orbital relay stations used by Groundbreakers Communications to maintain line of sight with SIPs tra ships traveling around the Halcyon system. I just woke up. It's Sunday morning. I just woke up. Having a little trouble moving my mouth, apparently. Let's go to this relay. Meow. Okay, here we are. Ooh, neat. There it is over there. So it is like a station that we're going to be able to go to, I guess. Uh, does Ada have anything to say to us about this? Welcome back, Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? No, he doesn't need to know that yet. Uh, doesn't this guy have a life? <laughs> I don't believe so, Captain. Oh. Transmission incoming. Oh, no, no, that's not what I... Oh. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Okay. Um... You sound like you've been to Monarch. <laughs> no, never. Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. I can't imagine why Hiram set up shop there. Cuisine, perhaps? Cuisine, huh? Yeah, sounds like a lot of fun. I certainly wouldn't call it boring, especially if your idea of fun involves navigating a hostile biosphere populated by carnivorous monsters. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Neoka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Wow. Uh, I guess we have some questions for him. Holy cow, look how many experience points we got just now. I wasn't going to talk to him af until after we went to the relay station, but I guess I'm glad that we did since we got all those experience points. Uh, let's see if we can ask him some questions. Come see me in my lab. I'll answer any questions you have. Oh, fair enough. All right, see you later, bye. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Mm-hmm. Well, they're going to have to wait. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Mm, nope, that'll do it. See you soon, Captain. Yeah, you probably will. Okay, let's go. I am excited to get on this relay station and ex explore something new. So, I'm going to travel with Felix and Ellie. Um... Because I'm hoping that if I spend more time with them, maybe they will have some uh, companion quests for us. So let's go. Oh, nice looking entrance to this station. Now we've traveled here. Reactivate the relay transmitter. Um... The terminal to activate the relay is located inside the central control room of the relay station. Each relay transmitter maintains a backup of messages it has received but not yet transmitted. Since the relay has been offline for some time, the log of backup messages should be quite substantial. Okay, I'm kind of wondering why it needed to tell me that, but there you go. And, okay, I did put something in my third slot up there for my inhaler thing. Okay. Um, is this, are the things on here going to be friendly? Relay station all the way out here. Perfect spot for some peace and quiet. Why is he assuming somebody's living here? Oh, there's enemies. All right, look at my compass. Huh? Nice so we're gonna we're gonna fight some things. Unfortunately, looks like they're just um sentry bots. Maybe do I have to destroy them? Really? Can he see me through this glass? Looks like he's looking right at me. Looks like he's aiming his gun at me. Well, I mean, there's a lot of these things in here. 
Let's kind of look around a little bit. See if we can get at this a different way, maybe. This is pretty cool. <laughs> you can, like, see into the station, but you can't go in there. That's neat. Hey, hey, yeah, get to crouching. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, whoop, whoop. Kind of saw me there. Hmm. So this place is all... booby-trapped. I wonder why. I could shoot that thing, but then we'll kind of be announcing our presence, huh? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. We'll just go around that completely. Yeah, that's how you do it. Hmm, well, here is another landmine. What's this? Oh, a tactical shotgun. Um, I mean, is there any way I could deactivate those Fallout style, walk up to it and deactivate it rather than shooting it to destroy it? I, I just, um, I don't want to make a lot of noise, but I don't know how else to deactivate those things. I don't know if the uh, journal or the codex here um, has any information for me about mines, and even if it does, I'm not sure where it would be. B, I mean, is, I don't think it's a part of combat. Um, I mean, definitely not in there. Companion symbols. There's a possibility this is it's, it's listed here, and I'm just not seeing it because I'm just kind of glancing at it. <laughs> Restricted area. I wonder why I have this twice. Huh. Um, sneaking. Yeah, crouch to sneak. Well... Um, I don't see any mention of mines, so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, even if I walked up and let it d hurt me, I don't think that it's going to give me any, any information. So, um, I'm going to, I'm going to hit F5 here. I'm going to slowly creep towards this thing and see if at any point I can disarm it. Unfortunately, here comes a... Oh, here comes a sentry bot right here, as soon as I decide to do that. Okay, I don't think he's going to actually come around the corner. So. Let's see. Nope. Apparently, uh, not. There is nothing we can do about it, so that's okay. Let's just get to work here. Wow, that was pretty cool. Took that thing out quickly. Even with uh, some status effects going on. So, I've been thinking about, you know, and talking about what to do with my companions. Um, so that they don't rush up and just get killed all of a sudden. And uh, I've had some suggestions that maybe I just put them in defensive mode. Um, yeah, maybe, a, well, oh, there's a defensive and passive. So, def defensive... Once told to attack a target, the companion continues to fight until combat is over. Passive only attacks targets the companion has been explicitly told to. I think I want that. I'm going to go with that. We'll see how that works out. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm going to do that for both Ellie and F Felix. And the reason I'm going to do passive is because I still want to use their abilities. Although, I mean, both. I think both of their abilities are kind of like up-close abilities. They run up and do something close up. Uh, like, he's got this stupid jump kick, and I think Ellie runs up and, like, uses her pistol. Um, so I'm not really sure what's going to happen if I set him passive. And then I have him run up. We'll see what happens. We'll see. We'll, we'll experiment with it a little bit. Hopefully this effect that's on me right now doesn't last very long. I'd like for it to go away. Oh, hi! See? They, um... What, are you just going to hang there? I <laughs> shot him into the wall. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> um, so yeah, they, they just they just stood there and watched. Oh, you're not even going to crouch anymore? You're too good to crouch now that, now that I've set you as passive? Oh, hi. How's it going? Holy cow, am I one-shotting these? No, I'm not. So I'm going to have him do his attack. And I'm going to have her do hers. 
Okay. Anyone else? Um, looks like they're still attacking, and he died anyway. You were the biggest wuss, Felix. Is she doing any damage to that thing at all? Down they go. Yeah, down they go, because I shot it. You're just, like, carving graffiti marks on it. So, uh, so much for keeping my peeps alive. I mean, good grief, Felix. Oh, there must be still another enemy around here because uh, these guys are like, nope. Let me uh, let me do this game here. Does it, does it work if I walk away from them? Will they come back to life? Some games, if you walk away... F yeah, they came back to life. This game is no different. <laughs> you okay, Felix? You're looking a little red there. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> I... So I set him to passive, and then I told Felix to go up and attack, and then it looked like they kept on attacking. So I don't know what the difference is between passive and defensive. Right? Passive. Only attacks target. Well, okay, I guess I guess that's it, huh? They'll only attack that target. Okay. And then that's what they did. I told them to attack that target, and they continued attacking it. So I guess they did what I told them to do. What is that? Some kind of alarm horn. Kind of cool looking. Uh, over here is something to look at. A pickaxe? I don't know. I'll pick it up. Examine. Fry? Fray? Fry? Fray. Fray's journal. Escape. I had to start a new journal. I cannot read my previous entries without the whispers tempting me. The whispers do not stop. Every person I see, the whispers tell me to help, help, help them. They show me the pain and longing hiding in their eyes. They tell me how these people want to, no, need the gifts I can give. I said want to. They want, no, need the gifts I can give. All it would take is a few moments with a blade. A bright, bright, bright fountain of crimson to delight the eyes, and all of their pain would be gone. I could do it. I know how to help them. It gets harder and harder to stop myself. I saw a friend today, an old friend from school, who's now a doctor for Auntie Cleo. I told him about my dreams. Nothing outright, oh no, I'm not so foolish as that. I told him it was an old book I'd found and described my dreams and whispers as happening to a character in the book. I asked him how he'd help this character. He looked at me and he knew. He knew. He knew. The whispers told me to end his pain. That he'd tell. He'd tell. I got up and left quickly. I did not hurt him. Not. Not. I have to leave Byzantium. He will tell, tell, tell. They'll come for me and lock me away. I must find a secret place. A place I can be alone. A place with no whispers. So is this, uh, one of the messages that's being held here for delivery? Is that how this is going to work? We get to actually read the messages? Because I'm okay with that. Alright, let's keep going. I, I, I am bummed at how quickly Felix died. I mean, I'm pretty sure we've got a, at least a somewhat decent armor on him uh, i believe so i mean it's this 21 level 21 or not level 20 it's only level 4 armor but it's 21 armor whatever that means i'm just assuming that a higher number is better i could give him do i have a better an armor with a better number i don't think i do i've just got like these different clothes that i'm wearing or that i'm carrying in case i need you know i could give him a better helmet instead of these stupid goggles then he'll lose his engineering Let's give him this helmet. See if that helps him any. And, um... Interesting. I cannot repair his armor from here. How, do their, how does their armor get repaired? Does it get repaired automatically? Do I have to go to a workbench to repair their armor? I don't know. But, yeah, I, don't, I still don't know why he died so quickly. Kind of bums me out, man. He's got this stupid mace here that he uses. Let's give him that. Have him play with that a little bit. And uh, while I'm thinking about it, if I'm going to have them be passive 
it means I'm going to tell them to run up and use their skill. So uh, maybe I should switch them to switch him to using his uh, melee weapon. Although I really like his um, grenade launcher, but we'll we'll see if this this works. I'm just trying to think of a strategy that'll work. I remember the um, the first Dragon Age game. I really enjoyed. It was a lot of fun. Uh picking different tactics for my companions and seeing which one worked. Um, I remember liking it better in the first game than in um, Inquisition. I never played the second Dragon Age game. There was a second Dragon Age game, wasn't there? I believe so. It was kind of fun sneaking through here. Ooh, here's something. To find. Well, um, take a look. Sawed off shotgun mark two, light machine gun mark two, all kinds of stuff. Uh, I mean, as far as um, the weapons that these guys are using, um, I mean, she's got this officer's spine weapon that does 61, um, 61 power damage, maybe? Is that what that's telling me? I'm not sure. It has a bleed effect on it. The origin of the name of this sword is lost in antiquity. Was it named Officer's Spine because officers could stand straight knowing they wielded these powerful swords? Or was it that, like officers, these swords vented noxious fumes? No one knows. So it says it not it, it vents fumes. Um, uh, it doesn't... Let's see. Inspect here. Here we go. Damage type. Corros corrosion. Okay, so it's telling me the damage type right here. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well... I don't know. And then Felix, we just gave him that. Okay. Got some more goodies laying around in here. People thinking they can hide stuff from me. They're wrong. Oh, hi. How's it going? I don't even need companions. I'll just do it all myself. Uh, I do like traveling with companions, though, because of, you know, I get to hear them talk to each other and make comments on stuff. And like I was like, I'm hoping uh, maybe we'll get some uh, extra quests from them. But for the most part, I'm just I mean, just, you know, stand back, you guys. I got this covered <laughs> for now. We'll see what happens when we make it to um, Stellar Bay. Ooh. Examine. Oh, here's F Frey's journal, the source. The whispers have a source and I have found it. Found it. I have taken refuge on an orbital relay station. It is smaller than a worker's hovel, barely a few thousand square meters, but sufficient for my needs. I was able to flee Byzantium with enough bits to purchase supplies to last for decades. It was strange being among, among common people on the Groundbreaker. The whispers barely stirred at the sight of their ill-fed, scarred, and unwashed bodies. If only there were fewer freighters docking there, bringing real people from Byzantium, I could almost have made a home free of temptation. Free. Free. As I made this place livable, or as much as it can be, I started hearing the whispers from the relay terminal. They told me to listen to the voices traveling through the ether to reach me, calling out to me to help them, alone, lonely, needing my help. I found a way to power down the transmitter. No way. No more voices in the ether and no more whispers. They fell silent, silent, silent. This was not me. It's not. Not. I am not this foul thing that I have feared for so long. It was the voices in the ether trying to make me hurt others. But I was stronger than they and I have defeated them. 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 I have already begun making plans to return to my home. Now that the whispers are defeated, I can resume my life again. I can't wait to return. I miss my family and co-workers so much, especially Delilah. Okay, well that pretty much tells me that we're not just going to be reading people's random messages here on the base, on this uh, relay station thingy. These are just uh, fry, fry or phrase messages. More stuff. Can't get enough of that stuff. A lot of crap laying around here on this relay station. Maybe this some of the stuff is left over from when Frey was here.
That's what I'm going with. We're going with that. Uh, deep fried sisty bits. Delicious. Let's see what's through this door. We're just back here again. Okay, just, just making sure I don't miss anything. It's all good. Oh, look, there's a bin up there. Let's see if we can get to it. You guys stay down there, okay? Nice. Check out the view from up here. Uh, janitor. Well, he's not. He's not hostile. What's up, janitor? Let's go say hi to the janitor. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Oh, okay. It was like a Sam unit. That makes me wonder what would happen if I was traveling with my Sam unit. Would he, would he talk to this janitor? Hmm. Huh. So if I sent Felix back, would I get the opportunity to? Could I tell him, hey, send Sam here instead? I don't know. Let's try that. I'm gonna hit F5 in case I screw this up. So we're going to talk yeah, boss? to Felix. Head back to the ship, man. Whatever you say, boss. I'll see you back there. Okay. Felix has left the party. Uh, I <laughs> do not see any um, <laughs> way to invite somebody else instead. <laughs> okay, well, um, I guess we're just traveling with Ellie now. <laughs> um, or, I guess I could just... Hmm, well, I was going to say, I guess I could just bring up my map and fast travel back to... Um, the ship, but I don't have that opportunity here. Um, uh, oh man, I really wanted to see if Sam would say anything to or about the janitor. Oh man, I'm over encumbered, doggone it. Um, a locker transfer. Oh, okay. Huh, I've actually never done that before. I could go into this menu and transfer things. So, uh, Ellie, um, we are going to take the long, slow trip back to our ship because I really don't want to travel with just one companion. Um, and I'm over encumbered and it's not that far. It's not that long to get back. So we're going to slowly walk back here. I'll keep it down. I'll keep it down as I whisper very, very loudly. So our ship is right here. It's real close. Okay. We're going to travel back here real quick. We're going to take Sam with us when we leave, but uh, I am going to go to um, our workbench. Oh. No more fertilizer shipments be brought on board. Who keeps ordering <laughs> What? <laughs> Why are these here? <laughs> There's woolly cows on board. Check them out, man. Oh, man, I wish I could pet them. I so want to pet them. Parvati, do you know anything about these woolly cows? Felix keeps asking me to watch some adventure cereal with him. It's not my thing, but he's real sweet about it. Yeah? Oh, this is the thing. No, 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 I'm thinking of somebody else. Never mind. I was thinking of somebody else. Um, so we're going to use our workbench here. Uh, huh. For some reason, I was thinking I could use my workbench to sell things, but I can't, can I? Um, can I store things on my ship? Um, I don't think I can, can I? I mean, what if I wanted to hang on some stuff to sell later? But that would kind of probably be kind of a pain in the butt, wouldn't it? Um... That lets me re-spec my character, I believe. Yeah, I, I guess there is no way to store things, but I was gonna, I was thinking, store my stuff for if and when I, well, when I make it to another vendor. 
like, can I just put stuff in this fridge and will it stay there? Can I... Is there a cabinet I could put stuff in? No. Felix. Good to see you, boss. Okay, never mind. Huh, I'm not finding a cabinet to put anything in. I mean, yes, we saw that fridge. I don't think there is anything in here, is there? Well, could I store stuff in here in this bin? And then, um, you know, just sell it later? I don't know. Uh, I'm not giving them these assault rifles just yet, so... I don't know, let's just store a bunch of crap. Now this stuff I kind of want to keep, you know, for special occasions. Like if I need to sneak, I could put that on. If I need dialogue skills, I could put that on. So that's why I'm hanging on to all this crap. But it's hard for me to remember. You know, okay, I have two tech skills things. This... I could just go ahead and break it down. Um, oh, here's another tech skills, huh? I'll break that down as well. This also is a sneak, so I think I have two sneaks now. This is a sneak, and this is a sneak. They're both helmets, but this one has better armor, so uh, we'll break that down. Okay, I, I don't know if this is a smart thing to do or not. But, um, that's what I'm going with for the time being. Because now that I see how important bits are in this game, I'm gonna, I want to start seeing if I could sell stuff instead of break it down. I, sometimes I have no choice, you know, I just, I have to break things down. Oh, I guess I didn't need to do that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go back. We're going to take uh, Ellie and Sam with us. Okay. So there's the relay. There's a barred door right there. Uh, I need to set Sam as passive as well. So let's go to Sam. Sam, I want you to be passive. Huh, he has close range and long range weapons. He doesn't have melee or um, ranged. Interesting. Okay. Oh, this is barred from this side. Okay, I was not expecting that. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, let's go this way this time. Let's see what's going on in here. Ooh. Wow, I, I don't have the skills to get in here? Are you kidding me? Really? Okay. So, lockpick, I'm at 40. Wow. Does um, Felix give me extra lockpick bonus? Because it seems like my lockpick is normally really high. Um, so lockpick comes from perception. If I get my perception up. Or. Let's see here. Do I have anything that give me. Perception or lockpick. I don't think I do have anything that does specifically that. Oh, here's the lockpick plus five. I'll be damned. There, I'll just put that on. And now I can get into it. <laughs> I need to use five magpicks to get in here. This thing... And it takes five seconds to get into it. This is a serious, serious locked door right here. I got nimble fingers. This was... Easily the most difficult room uh, or door I've had to pick, I believe. This has an armor of 12. I mean, shoot. Um, I don't I actually don't even remember what helmet I was wearing before. So, it, maybe it was this one. Actually, this one doesn't give me any bonuses or anything, so it's probably not that one. Uh, I don't remember what I was wearing. We'll just... Mix and match. So we found a terminal. Auto mechanical home security control system. Please select from the following options. Oh man, I probably could have changed the security routines on these um, mechs and not have to destroy them. Display unit status. Unit status. 
uh, zero mechanical set to charging routine, six mechanical set to patrol designated areas, unit settings, hostility level, kill on site, hostility override for owners active, list of valid owners, Alexander J. Frey. <laughs> okay. Update security routines. Please select from the following options. Uh, well, we, if we had a hack of 50, we could begin their charging cycle. So my hack is currently uh, 45 with boosts. Oh, wow. Sam gives me a 12 boost. Nice. Okay. Well, I'm glad Sam is with me. We should be able to get to 50, I hope. Um, so for hack, hack is under intelligence. If I can get my intelligence off up, or if I have something that specifically says hack, here's a hack plus seven. <laughs> I'm going to tell all these guys to begin their charging cycle. So they'll leave us alone. Nice. Now, if we look to the, look at the display unit status. They're in charging. Still kill on sight, but hopefully, since they're charging, they will ignore us. That's my plan, anyway. Pardon me, pardon me. Here's a book. Security Auto Mechanical Manual. The instructions printed in this manual have been covered by a mostly illegible scrawl. Entire paragraphs are crossed out with frantic lines of dark ink. In some places, the pages are torn through from the force of whoever wielded the pen. One section describing the correct procedures for setting auto mechanicals on a proper charging schedule is mostly untouched. Random letters within the text are circled as though the owner were trying to discover some message hidden within. Gee, I wonder who did that. Gosh. Looks like old Frey left a bunch of stuff behind. He left behind something called Town and Country. Eh. Look at the name of the company that made it. Cholaku. Leadership skills plus five. Whether you are hosting an office presentation or picnicking in the Terra 2 countryside, this piece from our Town and Country collection will not disappoint you. I will be the judge of that. Here is another message. Phrase journal, a beautiful dream. Last night I dreamed and it was beautiful. The streets of Byzantium were decorated with crimson streamers that laughed in the breeze. They asked me to take them, to give them to my special ones. I gathered the crimson in my arms and felt so alive, so happy. I turned and Delilah was beside me. I did not question why my supervisor was there. Her eyes so full of emotions, I know she feels but dares not show at work. I wrapped her neck in crimson, tying it tight as a scarf on a cold day. So beautiful. Then the crimson on her neck opened as a second mouth and began screaming, screaming. When I awoke, I was scared. The dreams are so real now. And this time I recognized a face. I had to leave work early today. Every time I looked at Delilah, I heard a whisper in my mind about how beautiful she would look with a touch of crimson on her neck. Her neck. This must stop. This is not who I am. This is not who I will become. I must find help. So this is obviously a, uh, a journal he brought with him from Byzantium. I'm assuming Delilah was somebody he worked for on Byzantium, not here on this station, right? Not a very private shower. Well, that's the end of this path. That is barred. We are going to have to go back the way we went uh, when we were here with Felix before, but that's okay. This is kind of neat. This looks like a little mail slot kind of thing. I just think that's a nice touch that they decided to put that in there. All right, we are going to walk around that. Oh man, golly, totally missed that before. That could be the difference between life and death right there, man. <laughs> How the heck do I miss this stuff? 
I, I really think somebody's like sneaking in behind me and putting this stuff here to make me think I'm missing stuff. Yeah, that's what's happening. Okay, well, let's see if uh, Sam says anything about this guy. Sam? Janitor. Janitor Sam. No? Nothing? No, you have nothing to say? Every Sam unit comes lean, mean, and ready to clean. Okay, good work, Sam. Thank you, customer. Sam, merciless on germs. Okay. Well, so much for that. <laughs> it was worth a shot, right? I think so. Okay, so we've got a door here. Here we've got another locked door, but... <laughs> man, this is another 45. This is another hard lock to pick. Let's get in here, man. Oh, neat. Whoa, cool. Okay, look at that right there. Look at that gear when I'm picking this lock. It, it turns. I'll have to put my gun away so you can see it. Look at it. Look at it. It's turning. <laughs> That's really cool. What a nice touch. You That's neat. Teach me that. Oh, there's a ladder here. Ooh, ladders. Ladders are cool. Let's see where this takes us. Ah, ah, look where we are. Oh, no. Oh, there's a body over there. Huh. Whoa. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so awesome. Uh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so um, we should be able to just plop down in here. Uh, and sure enough, these sentries are um, charging. But I mean, we don't have to plop down in here. We can go around and use the door. That's what I'm going to do. Plop down here instead. Come on, you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Greetings, robots. He's got a nice desk here. I don't know who he's playing cards with. Here's the terminal. Oh no. Probably don't need my diagnosis, but he's definitely dead. Body bag dispenser empty. Please replace sacreal before disposing of any corpses. Please replace sacreal. Uh, uh, purple berry wine here. Oh, it's it's Frey. Uh, relay control terminal password. Nice. Silencer. Big cartridge. Cool. Uh, because look at this. <laughs> uh, hacking skill too low. Optional relay control terminal password. I was like, oh man, we can't even do this quest yet. It'll be a long, long, long time before I get to 100. But all I need is, her, is his um, passcode. Let's read his uh, journal first. Let's do that. Phrase journal. Forgive me. I was so wrong, wrong, wrong. The whispers did not stop, not, not. They have returned. They howl, howl, howl at me, demanding I return home and bathe the streets in crimson. Bright, crimson, beautiful crimson. I can think of only one way to end this. End, end. Forgive me, Delilah. Well, that's a shame. I mean, at least he did that instead of going back and killing everybody, but it is still sad, right? It's very sad. I like his outfit, though. Look at that cool outfit. Look at that neat vest he's wearing. It's pretty cool. Pretty stylish there, Frey. I'm going to take your uh, pistol, though. You won't be needing that anymore. All right, let's um get the passcode. And we're going to unbar this door. And we're going to unbar this door. Just in case we need to make a run for it. Who knows what's going to happen when I activate this. Uh, I don't know if there's any new text. There's not. Use terminal. Par p p pardon me, Sam. I mean, I'm just trying to get squish, get by here. Get to this terminal. Transmitter status disabled. Receiver status active. That's it. Activate relay transmitter. Uh, initiating transmitter activation sequence. Routing power to transmitter array. Pathways are synced. Conducting power test. Power is stable. Uh-oh. Initiating transmitter array diagnostic. Diagnostics report that 26 of 26, 28 arrays are functional, Lee, operational. 
Transmitting activation ping to groundbreaker. Ping has been received. Results transmitter relay activation is complete. Nice, we did it. Untransmitted messages detected in memory cache. These messages will be downloaded to physical storage medium. Initiating copy sequence, copy complete. All stored messages have successfully transferred to the physical storage device. Really? Okay. Hmm. We reactivated it. We have gained relay transmitter data. Returned the data back up to Edna Ingmeyer on the Groundbreaker. Oh, I didn't know we were going to do that. Okay. Uh, okay. That's cool. I was wondering why it made a point of telling me that it stored up a bunch of messages. And I, I guess if I remembered what Edna told us, I would have remembered that, um... I mean, maybe she had said, you're going to have to bring these things back here. Well, that's okay. That's not a problem at all. We were going to go back there anyway to let her know that we'd done the work. So we've opened up this passage here. And we've opened this passage here. So we're just going to leave this place wide open for, uh, <laughs> for thieves or enemies or whatever. I mean, we've, we've, we've set the robots to charge. And uh, we've unbarred the doors. So, um... Yeah, any old thief could come in here and just have their way with it. Um, all right, this is this is really. See you guys later. This is oh, I can't rebar doors. <laughs> oh well, I was gonna say this is really stupid, but I was gonna rebar that door and and um, set the uh, robots back on um, patrol because I don't want I don't want bad guys coming here. I don't want to find out later that I've caused a problem by leaving this place. Uh, unguarded. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, well. Well, I was trying to roleplay a little bit there, but uh, apparently there's no reason for me to uh, set those guys back. Neat. I didn't even notice that cool view up there. That's pretty cool. You can see all the way up to the top. What would be really neat is if I could see the unreliable out there. And maybe I can. I mean, maybe that's the unreliable right there. Although, when I was on the unreliable... The station seemed much further away, but uh, maybe when I transfer here, um, what we don't see is the ship getting us closer to it. So I'm going to say that is the unreliable right there. That's pretty neat, huh? Could look out and see our own ship. I wish I could see a marking on it, which let me know for sure that it was the unreliable. But I'm I'm going to say that's that's the unreliable right there. Cool. All right, let's head back. Okay. Captain, Felix and the Vicar are arguing again. You are such a tattletale. Golly. Young Millstone, you look pensive. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> I've been thinking. It ain't easy carrying a torch for the Rangers. I understand. The Rangers' victories are your victories. Their defeats are likewise crushing. You serious? Wow, Max. Never expected you'd understand. This may come as a surprise to you, Felix, but I understand what it is to be a fan. That's so. You know something? Maybe I was wrong Ooh. about you. Oh, never mind. To be a fan is to cultivate a mental disorder. You're living vicariously through a tossball team. Nah, I was right the first time. <laughs> You're a git, Max. Oh, they're arguing. Good to see you, boss. Yeah, nothing there. I could spend hours. Uh huh. Yeah, I know. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, nothing new there either. Gosh, Sam, you sure are kind of loud. It's kind of annoying. Okay, cool. We have. <laughs> Who's Sam talking to? <laughs> he said, "Greetings, customer." So we need to go back to Edna. It looks like I'm over encumbered again. I guess I'm, Make what? yourself at home, Captain. Okay, thanks. I've been here before, but thanks. No new messages or anything. So um, let us uh, take everything out of here. We're already un over encumbered anyway, and um, we will go back to Groundbreaker to speak with Edna. And while we're there, we'll sell off a bunch of stuff so we can make some uh, some coin. So back to Groundbreaker we go. Destination is 
destination reached. The groundbreaker. Cool. Travel. Um. Let's see. Sam's. Have I taken Sam on Groundbreaker? I don't remember whether I have or not. Eh, we'll just go with these guys. We'll actually leave Parvati here this time. This is no awkwardness when we go back to engineering. Alright, so we're going to walk a little slow here uh, because we're over encumbered, but it'll be worth it when we sell this uh, stuff. Down on 22 that you did a contract for sublight. Yeah, we've heard that story before. I think. Smashed up a freighter out in the Charybdis belt. You ever stop to wonder how it got smashed up? Asking questions is a good way to forfeit my bonus. Some things ain't worth knowing. Yeah. Oh, man. I was going to pick those up. <laughs> okay, cool. Here's a vending machine right here where I could sell off all this crap. Vendor, I'm going to sell things. Uh, first of all, sell all my junk. Apparently we didn't have much. Uh, so I'm going to um, sell this plasma launcher, although it's pretty cool. It's a pretty high level weapon too. Boy, that thing was level one. Wow, this thing's level 18. Level 18. Sorry, Max, I'm gonna sell your Vortex Mace off. Level eight. I'm keeping that assault rifle because for some reason, well, not for some reason, I'm thinking that um, I'm going to give these to my peeps at some point if this strategy of them being passive doesn't work. Um, somebody in the comments told me to give the anarchist's cookbook to someone. So, <laughs> great for cooking anarchists. Uh, so I guess I'll hang on to that. I'm gonna go ahead and sell this. We'll, we'll pick up other things. It's all good. And, um... Then I just picked this up. That doesn't give me any extra bonuses, so we'll get rid of that. Leadership skills plus five. Do I have leadership skills plus... Or leadership skills bonus anywhere else? Um... I guess I don't, so maybe I'll hang on to that. This thing doesn't give me anything extra either. So I'll sell that as well. Okay. That's pretty cool. And then I do have a lot of food here, but uh, I'm going to try to start using up my food in as part of my inhaler. But, I don't know, the more I think about it, maybe that's not working out the way I think it's going to, since I'm um, pretty much going to do all the work myself without my peeps. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll really see how it goes once we get to uh, Stellar Bay. If that place is as tough as everybody says it is. Alright, let's run back here to Edna. Have you seen this man? Alright, Edna. Um, return the data back up to Edna Ingmeyer on the Groundbreaker. Edna is in the communications control room in engineering. My comm center already got an update ping from the backup relay. I trust everything went smoothly. It went alright. I had to destroy a few robots, though. But just a few. Well, here's your data backup. Thanks. Hmm. hmm. That's odd. The only messages in the queue are encrypted ones. Looking at the transmission logs, the relay hasn't received a single unencrypted message in the past 36 hmm. months. Must be on account of some new security red tape. Well, whatever's the cause, the board and the Earth Minister will see it sorted. Thanks again for saving my derriere. I secured quite the payment authorization for you from Chief June Lei. Ooh. Try not to spend it all in one place. Oh, okay, how much did I get? That's not very many experience points for that quest. There we go, there's some more. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. And... Boy, 10 seconds is a long time. Uh, 1500 bits? Well, alright. I'll take it. Right, Ellie? Right, Sam? Our reputation with Groundbreaker has increased. That's cool. Can we talk to her some more? Routing through the backup relay has saved us a mess of trouble. 
Thanks to you, the auxiliary will handle the signal load when the primary's caught in the occlusion. Well, you're welcome. And Groundbreaker are now revering. They love us. So if we go in and look at our reputation, we will see that we have an 88% positive reputation with Groundbreaker. We're agreeable with Auntie Cleo. Oh, the deserters. We're also revering with them. Well, we damn well should be. <laughs> After what we did for them, we shut down Edgewater for them. All right. Cool, man. That was a pretty neat quest, right? Routing through the backup relay has okay. saved... I was thinking that maybe if we talk to her, we might get another quest from her, but I guess not. And then, uh, Junlei. I was doing some maintenance on oh. the radiators and found this lying around. You look like you need it more than I do. Oh, okay. Th th thanks for the pep pills. What are you saying? I look like I'm dragon? Huh, that was... random. Huh. Okay, well... That's pretty cool. Uh, I wonder if there's any new messages here. There are not. Uh, I'm just, I'm just kind of glancing around here. Um, I'm remembering a comment that I got about something that I missed, and I can't remember whether it was on Groundbreaker or someplace else. Um. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here while I'm still on the Groundbreaker. And um, I'll look at my comments again and see if indeed the thing that I missed was on Groundbreaker or not, since I'm already here. So we'll just uh, kind of hang out here in the lobby area of Groundbreaker and end this episode. We come back next time, we'll pick another quest. Uh, maybe we will go down to Stellar Bay. Uh, on Monarch and check that out. So make sure you come back for that episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. See you in the next episode.